First at noon, we're leading the way on breaking news as the police continue their search for a gunman who shot five people on the highway in rural Kentucky this weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephen Albert and I'm Kelly Rippin. So this is happening south of Lexington in Laurel County. We know one person has been released from the hospital and two others improving today. Now, since the shooting Saturday night, police have been looking for the suspected shooter, 32 year old Joseph Couch. Now, crews have been focusing their search near London, Kentucky, along I-75. That's pretty close to the Daniel Boone National Forest, a very rural area. A lot to pick through, a lot to try to find this guy. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live near this area with the latest on the manhunt. Todd. Yes, Stephen and Kelly, rural, but I can tell you heavily traveled. Anybody that heads south to Florida from Cincinnati or points in between, uh, take I-75, crossing into Tennessee and vice versa, heading back north. And right now, the feeling that I get as we're driving on 75, uh, it's a little bit harrowing considering that this suspect, Joseph Couch, remains at large. Of course, he's a 32-year-old man who police think fired 20 to 30 rounds at vehicles traveling on the highway around 8.30 Saturday night. Couch now the subject of an intense manhunt that's unfolding in terrain that officials have described, as we've indicated, as being like a jungle. And as you mentioned, Kelly and Stephen, we know 12 cars, at least 12 cars were hit by bullets on Saturday night. Five people uh, reported having injuries. Uh, three of those taken to UK hospital in Lexington. A spokesperson for the hospital saying this morning that one of those three people has been discharged. The other two are in good condition. So still a lot unfolding here. People presumably maybe just now realizing that their car was hit by a bullet if they traveled past that point and announced understanding what exactly what's transpired. Again, couch the subject of a manhunt. Uh, investigators talked about that yesterday. Let's take a listen to what they had to say. My message would be, you know, that we would ask that he would give himself up. Uh, and we're not going to quit until we do lay hands on him, you know. And we was really hoping, maybe we wish that would have been last night. We was hoping today. Uh, we hope tonight. We hope tomorrow. But uh, this effort is not going to stop. Yeah, not going to stop. I know Kentucky State Police have called in additional troopers from other parts of the Commonwealth to lend a hand as they try to make it through these through the very thick forested like area. Again, described by one officer as being like a jungle. There are a lot of unnerved people, of course, in this part of uh, Kentucky heading toward the southern border. Uh, schools in some cases have shut down for the day so police can continue to look for Joseph Couch. We'll have more throughout the afternoon. There is a three o'clock update scheduled at this point from police. So we hope to get the latest information at that point and we'll certainly have it for you this evening on News 5. For now, reporting live this noon hour, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Absolutely. Yeah, Todd, I think with a lot of people having family in that area or having family that goes to those schools that are closed, they'll be looking forward to that update at three o'clock. Thanks so much.